Hey everybody, welcome to Face the Music. Uh, if you're not a subscriber, do me a quick favor, will you? Reach over, hit that subscribe button. Join this big family. Let's keep all this great music alive together. Also, um, if you don't mind, give me a like and give me a share so we can go ahead and get this channel growing. Right now, I've got about 3,500 some uh, plus subscribers on this channel. Great, fantastic. Love all you guys. Thanks for joining up. And I hope that if you're new to the channel, that you join up as well. Okay, so before we get started into today's song, let's go ahead and check out, as we've been doing for a while now, the album of the day, which is The Police and Synchronicity. I'm telling you right now, this is a great, great album. And the reason it's a great album, first of all, it's one of those iconic covers that I remember so well from the 80s. But this is one of those great albums that has got some great music on here. I mean, if you look at the music that's on here, you've got songs like, of course, um, Every Breath You Take. You can't forget that one. That one's just a, a classic of this album. Then you've got songs like King of Pain. You've got uh, Wrapped Around Your Finger. I mean, this song, and of course, then the title track, Synchronicity. I mean, this is just a great, great album. If you don't know what songs I'm talking about, I mean, you might, you probably have heard Every Breath You Take. If you're a police fan, first of all, if you're a police fan, you probably already know, okay? But if you're not a police fan or if you just are like, yeah, I'm kind of a passing fan. I like some of their stuff, know some of their stuff, you know, like maybe... Um, um, uh, Roxanne or something like that, uh, you know, then, you know, I don't, I don't know Every Breath You Take, I don't know some of the other stuff. Check this album out. Go ahead, pull it up on YouTube if you need to, or get this album. Check out songs like King of Pain, uh, Wrapped Around Your Finger, one of my favorite songs in this album. And of course, as I said just a second ago, Synchronicity, that is a great, great song from a great band, The Police, Sting, before he became uh, a solo artist. So, just a great album, one of my favorites. Anyways, okay, so getting into today's episode. So, we, you know, as I said uh, at the outset, um, a couple of episodes back, I'm doing actually, uh, this is like kind of like the few episodes of Fleetwood Mac, and I also said that I was probably going to throw in, at one point I said I was going to throw in maybe a Lindsey Buckingham tune. This is it. This song is called It Was I. Now, this isn't necessarily, I should say, clarify, it's not really a Lindsey Buckingham tune in the, fact, in the aspect that he wrote it. He didn't write it. He actually took it from someone else, another artist that had actually done it, another group duo that had done it before he did it, but who you'll hear on this song, I think it's a great song, I think it's a really good song, it's a short song, but he also does, and you'll hear a female singing in the background, singing uh, uh, harmony vocals, that is Carol Ann Harris, who was Lindsay's girlfriend during this period of time. This was post, of course, post, you know, his relationship with uh, Stevie Nicks and all that, and you can actually go on Audible, you can actually go and look up the book, Carol Ann Harris actually has written a book about her relationship and her times with Lindsay, with the band and all that stuff, and her time singing this song uh, on this album that he, he did. I think it was 1981 on this album that he did, uh, and he put the song on there. She sang on it, and so really cool. Anyways, I think it's kind of a cool song. It's not a very well-known song, and it didn't really even do as well, I don't believe, from what I've read, as the original duo that did this song initially years before. Um, they had a lot more success than he had with it. But I still think it's a great song. And by the way, it's Lindsay Buckingham. Come on. So, no more talking. Let's jump, go ahead and jump right on into it. Here we go. Lindsey Buckingham, backed up by Carol Ann Harris, and It Was I. I think he could have maybe done a better outfit, but oh well.
still like the vibe of this song. It's Carol Ann right there. And there you have it, Lindsey Buckingham and Carol Ann Harris with It Was I. You know, again, I, I really like that song. I'm not sure why exactly, and I didn't even know anything about the song really until I actually heard the Audible book, as I mentioned earlier. Carol Ann, who was his girlfriend at the time, um, Carol Ann Harris had written, has written a book. Uh, and it came out a number of years ago, I guess, by now. But anyways, and she talks about her life with Lindsey and with the band and so forth during the time that they were together. And she sings back up on this song, and she mentioned the song I hadn't heard it before. And I said, okay. So I pulled it up and I listened to it, and I thought, you know, actually it sounds pretty good. You know, um, I, I, I would have to say, I mean, obviously the video, it, it, it leaves a lot to be desired, in my opinion, probably in your opinion too. I don't know. I mean, he definitely could have done a lot better with the video, but... I still think the song was really good. Now, it didn't get a lot of airplay, probably, uh, necessarily, or a lot. Of, it wasn't very popular, I'll put it that way. Um, and I'm guessing uh, it just really didn't go over super well with the fans. So, you know, my guess is that probably Lindsay's best contributions in terms of music and stuff was really more with Fleetwood Mac. I'm not 100% clear on the success he did on his solo uh, work and so forth. I'm sure he had some success, you know. I mean, he's a big name. Uh, still, in my opinion, I mentioned this before, he's still an underrated guitar player, still an underrated... I think songwriter, you know, even if he didn't write this particular song, he has written a lot of some great, you know, a lot of great, great music that, um, you know, I don't think that he really gets the credit that he really deserves. But at the end of the day, I still like that song. So what do you think? Put it in the comment box down below if you don't mind. What do you think about that song? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Uh, you know, like I said, I wanted to kind of like in the next few episodes, you know, well, a couple of episodes back, but, you know, I said that I was going to be doing over the next few episodes, I was going to be doing some Fleetwood Mac, maybe even a Lindsey Buckingham tune. I want to go ahead and put that out there. So, you know, hopefully you liked it. I don't know. But again, Fleetwood Mac can't go wrong. Lindsey Buckingham, great guitarist, great songwriter. Can't really go wrong with him either. Um, but I like that song. Hope you liked it as well. Okay. Anyways, that's it for today's episode. Uh, as I mentioned before, uh, I think I did. I'm not sure. Maybe, you know, I'm, I'm mixed up. Maybe I didn't at all. But if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Hit like and share. Also, check down below. Hit the hashtag Face the Music Reactions. Or simply go down to my playlist section. You can hit that playlist button. Go find all my previous content. I'm sure you'll find some things in there, some music and so forth. You'll see the kind of artists I cover. I'm sure you'll find some music in there that you will enjoy as well. Okay, come on back. There's a lot of great music in store for you coming right up. I'll see you next time right here on Face the Music. Take care.